Beard J, and today we're going to be doing an, an instructional video here on how to get these shaders that everybody wants when playing Escape from Tarkov to make this game look a little bit more brighter than um, than the dual colors that it has. But the first thing you want to do is obtain the shaders. Um, many people have different ways for obtaining the shaders um, through NVIDIA. I have it going into this way where it's the uh, github.com um, and my dog in the background scaring the crap out of me um, but yeah you want to download these shaders right here I'm gonna double click on them and pretty much this is what they all are you need all of them this is exactly what you need this is exactly what we're gonna put inside our folders which I will show you what they are um, but let me hit the back button here and you want to go ahead and hit download download zip okay i already downloaded that to my folder this is exactly what you need and i'm going to delete it because there's no need for anything extra get out of all of this you don't need it anymore this is exactly my folder this is what you need shaders and textures double click this is everything you need okay you want to right click hit copy okay now you want to go to your C drive, okay? Once you go in there, you want to go to Program Files, not Program Files 86, Program Files. Once you go in here, you're going to go to NVIDIA Corporation. This is exactly where you need to be. Once you go in there, you want to go into Ansel, the Ansel folder, the only folder, and you want to hit Paste, paste them all in there, okay? Now, once you do that, all right, when you hit Alt-Z, all right you get these tabs here all right the only thing you need right now is the game filter i can't use it right now because i'm not in the game okay but when i'm in the game which we're going to load up right now and it might take some time before it actually starts that's when you could actually hit alt z and actually use the filters tab all right guys so we're now in the game um and once you get into the screen this is when you want to hit game filter right here and once you go in there you're going to see these tabs right here i'm using colorfulness which is the one that we need we're also using color and we're using details these are the three that i use um, which makes this game great for color now you can pause this but um and you know hear what I hear my settings here for color but I have all tint, tint intensity all zero temperature at negative 11.6 vibrance at a hundred I have uh, detail sharpen at a hundred clarity at a hundred HDR toning 27 bloom 24 and my colorfulness tab I have it at uh, colorfulness 1.07 luma at 0 0.699 it doesn't have to be specifically to that uh those numbers um you want to have i think it automatically comes with default uh, noise on uh, enable editor off and the buffer bits it's at set at eight all right so that's pretty much what it looks like that's pretty much what you need now you can switch it up like you can turn it off look at that I go to number two and look how look look look, look at the color that you get here it just looks dull it looks doesn't even look welcoming but when you go to three it looks welcoming let's go into a game all right let's get this tab let's get this bar out of here let's go into a game um, right now we're gonna go to customs because customs is very vibrant and I love that map anyway we're gonna go to offline because we ain't trying to get clapped we are not trying to be clapped over here. All right, guys. So now we're in the game, and it just so happens to be raining. Um, that's awesome. Not really. Gosh, I'm trying to jump. Here. Um, but yeah, it's like a very dull day in Tarkov and the custom map. But damn noise. Uh, but this is pretty much what it looks like. Um, with whole um, colorfulness added color and detail uh, let me see I'm going to show you guys what it looks like without it all right look at that do you see the difference here this is what the game looks like without NVIDIA freestyle okay this is exactly what we 
not want. The colors just look very dull. It makes this game look like Daisy. It just looks very like, hey, there's zombies. Like, it just doesn't look very welcoming. Um, we want this to be vibrant. We want things to look amazing. And that's why when you hit Alt-Z, go to Game Filter, you turn it back on, and there you go. The difference is like night and day, okay? You want to be able to see your target better. You want to be able to see these colors better. With the, you know, it's not supposed to be, you know, too damn realistic. I mean, I think that if it was realistic, it should look this green, not the other green, which looks kind of weird. But, now that you see what this looks like on and off, I also want to show you the possibilities of when this does not work for you, what you should do. Alright guys, so I'm going to pretty much show you what you should do if in case your colorfulness tab does not work. So you want to hit Alt-Z, alright, go to Game Filter again, okay. If you're having a problem where you, you're adding the colorfulness tab and for some reason it says it's off track it, right here in the upper right corner and it says that it's not working, no matter how many times you click on here and my damn Discord in the background is going off like it's getting murdered, um, ignore it please. But yeah, if you're having that problem, this is what you need to do to fix this problem. And this will also fix your, I don't see my colorfulness tab in here. Why is it not in here? I added it into my install folder and it's not in here. Let's see what we should do. All right, so basically you wanna go back into your folder, okay? You wanna go in here, all right? Uh, back to your C drive, back to the program files back to the NVIDIA Corporation folder, back to the install, and you wanna go in here and you want to delete colorfulness, okay? Delete it, take it out, get rid of it, goodbye. Remember, you still have, um, you still have that backed up, all right? Uh, let's get out of here, um, let's close this Tarkov. Close it, close it, damn it. All right, I think we closed it, all right, good. All right, so, you still have a backup in here, so don't get too, you know, frightened because you deleted colorfulness because it's still in here. What you need to do now is you want to go into your GeForce tab, all right? You want to go back in here, and once you go in here, you want to go to drivers, okay? Once you go into drivers, you want to go right in here where it says reinstall driver, okay? Once you click that, okay, I'm not going to press anything because I don't want to reinstall anything because I have already done this. But you want to go to custom installation, alright? Once you click on custom installation, it gives you the option to pretty much wipe everything, alright? Start from fresh, okay? That's what you want. You want to hit custom, wipe it, everything, alright? Once you do that, Everything's pretty much reset, all right? You're still going to see that every file you downloaded is still gonna be in here in your install folder, okay? You're still gonna see that, that's fine. What you wanna do now is you wanna restart your PC. Once you restart your PC, you wanna go back into the game, okay? Once you go back into the game, you wanna make sure that you do not see the colorfulness tab in there, okay? And let me show you what I mean. All right, guys, so once you're back into the screen, you want to hit Alt-Z, okay? You want to go back to your game filter, okay? Once you're in there, you want to go to add filter. And once you're in here, you want to make sure you don't see colorfulness in here. Where is colorfulness for me? Um, I guess it's not there. Well, it's not there because I'm actually using it, all right? That's what happens when you, when you click on a tab and you're actually using it. But you want to make sure that it's not in here. Okay. Once it's not in here, then you're, then the game pretty much registered that you don't have the colorfulness tab in your Ansel folder, which is what you want. Then you want to repeat the process, guys. You want to go back to your backup folder, okay? Let me hit done, and we're going to hit exit, okay? We're going to hit exit. You want to go back into the folder, your backup folder, which should it should say shaders okay and reshade shaders all right 
once you go in here you want to take colorfulness copy okay and you want to go back into the C drive again and you want to go back into program files back into NVIDIA Corporation back into Ansel you want to put it back in here put it back in there and now that you have it in there you want to close everything and you want to restart your PC once again you're good to go guys once you do that start the game back up you know start uh, hit click alt Z once you click alt Z guys go back to the game filter tab and add the color on this tab you should see it in there again add it back in there boom you are done you're good to go that is it guys I just gave you the a best scenario on in a perfect world and then I also gave you B you know worst case scenario you might have to do a little workaround to install this tab but I can rest assure you guys that once you install what I just told you to do it should be easy it should be fairly simple it's it's not that hard um, I had complications and when 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 I had those problems I, I pretty much reinstalled my drivers like, like I said from fresh reset it and restarting your computer is what helps you effectively complete your task and it also helps you kind of you know fix it so when I did that it worked for me and finally I was in the game playing the game with these bright colors the way it should be um, if you guys happen to come across any more bottlenecks that maybe I didn't come across in this video then please feel free to share that in the um, comment section down below and please the only way we are going to be able to address this or make more videos like this if you guys like it is to like and subscribe to this channel so that you can help me um, you know become a better youtuber you know so that we can do more stuff like this um, this is something that I decided to do on my own because I saw so many people having problems trying to install colorfulness into this game and I just was like hey why not why not make a video so yep this is pretty much what I did and it worked for me and if it I hope it works for you and if not feel free to hit me up and let me know other than that guys this is your boy Blackbeard J and I am signing out peace